Yo, it's the MOSHOW Chicago, and we are back again with the gentleman Cheerios here. All right, and as you all see, we're working on cars here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ending racism in America. Yes. And spending and speaking about racism in America, what is racism in America? I mean, because you have the news media, you have people that is reared by KKK members, Proud Boy members, skinheads. What's your take on that? I feel, I feel like it, it comes a lot from the news, is where I feel like a lot of it boils down from, to be honest. So, uh, what about all of the laws or police killings that involve racism? What about lynchings? What about slavery? See, all uh, it kind of goes back to, we were talking earlier about your white supremacy stuff. Right. About how... You said there's white supremacy in the United States, and I said, yeah. I said, I'm not going to disagree with you. I said, uh, there needs to be some solutions to it instead of just talking about it all the time. I said, but when it comes down to what white supremacy actually is, I said, I think it, it, it's just a political scheme where huh. you, don't, you don't see it. You don't see it between us. You don't see it in the community as often unless you look at the police force, unless you look at the lynchings, unless you look at, you know, slavery in the past. That's where you see the racism. But you have the left and the right wings uh -huh. in the political stance where they they bring up topics that you were researching just a little bit ago. Well, check this out. Well, you say there's no like real racism in America unless you really look at the news and look at the cops. Well, according to the polls here in America, since 1865, 88% of Caucasian people still don't like the Aborigines. And what I mean by Aborigines are people that were here first, okay? So why is that? If there's no racism. And why would Joe Biden have to have signed a Emmett Till anti-lynching bill? It's, in my opinion, it's to create the racism, to, to broadcast the white supremacy, to stunt on minorities, to give, mm. to give the, the impression of white supremacy. Oh. Now, is it the impression of white supremacy or is white supremacy actually executed? I feel like in some areas of life, it is definitely, most definitely executed by individuals. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is necessarily executed as a whole. Now, if you add individuals together, obviously it gives you a bigger number. But it's not... I don't practice white supremacy. I mean... Obviously, look at it. Look at this. <laughs> there ain't a hoist. There ain't nothing. There's no white supremacy in here. And it's There's all no color in here. It's not a white car in here at all. <laughs> <laughs> so like we, we, we you know we're talking about this conversation we're working on cars and everything and he made a statement cheerios here made a statement that people always talk about it versus doing something about it and the great example that he gave was dr martin luther king jr he said that man was the movement Tell them what you said. I, I said Martin Luther King Jr. I was talking to Mo Shows here. He was talking about how uh, we were talking about how everyone wants to talk about it, no one wants to fix it. And I brought up Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, you know, with the no violence. And I said, it's not even that. I said, he did his protests. He went to jail. He got beat. He got, we, this is stuff we learned in school because that's what they teach nowadays. You have, in schools, you have the more liberal liberal side the more leftist teachers in my opinion okay and they and they talk about in my opinion i'm not i'm not saying back i'm talking about my opinion right so they have, you, you get a lot of that and they talk about that and that's kind of what they you know you see that in political stance nowadays they bring up all that stuff but going back to martin luther king jr he he made a difference it's only he, he made the difference it's like gandhi he made the difference he wanted to see there was no violence. The violence that was inflicted was from whites, white police officers, white civilians towards them because they were not, they didn't, they weren't okay with the movements that he was doing. But the violence did not come from the minority in the situation. It came from whites like me. Wow. 
unbelievable you all see right now we are making a solution to the problem you know you have a a, a caucasian that's a neighbor you know go over there and talk to him you know work out you see we're doing cars together <laughs> so we've been busy here and yes there's racism in america but i put my life on it this guy here you know i consider him like a john brown okay he's not racist you know he welcomed me into his house he welcomed me to eat you know we drink beers uh we work on cars we even go out bowling together sometimes. Right? <laughs> so we hang out. And this is how you find solutions to racism. You just get along. In fact about it, do you think, let me ask you a question, Cheerios. Do you think that people in the U.S. should wait on the government to solve a racism problem? No. no. What, what's your solution to that? My solution to that is, is stop like we talked about earlier, stop talking about the problem. Yes, there's a problem. I brought it brought it up to him earlier, which, and this is, I mean, this is a hard one to hear. You talk about how do you convince someone that not all police are bad? How do you convince someone that not all Africans, Americans are thugs? How do you convince a 13-year-old girl who was raped that not all men are like that? Wow. Nice analogy. I'm, I give him that one. <laughs> you got to talk about the solution to it. Now, Solutions are difficult to come up with. Everybody knows that. And it's all across the board. It's not just about in this answer. It's about everywhere. But talking about the problem doesn't heal it. Talking about the problem doesn't fix it. Talking about the problem doesn't change it. Solutions need to be put together and put in place. And that is not something that I feel like we need to wait for the government to do. Because they take forever to do everything. I agree with them. Why should people have to wait on the government to solve a racism problem when they can solve it themselves? I mean, right now you have children of interracial couples. How are you going to tell them that they are not fixing the solution? Uh, hey, we all, have, we all are here on this planet together. Regardless of who, who was here first or not, we are here. And we have to get along some type of way. Even when black people were in chattel slavery, we still had to have some Caucasian friends like Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. Hell, if it wasn't for Caucasian, Frederick Douglass would not be, would not have bought his freedom because it was Caucasians that helped him buy his freedom. So all white people are not bad. And if you want to talk about the slavery, the slavery concepts, we were talking about uh, mixed babies, interracial babies. Mm -hmm. um, how did, how do you, where do you think that started? Tell me. Uh, in slavery, because the plantation owner couldn't keep his hands off the little black girls that were working for him. So was that racism or was that just rape? I think that's something you need to answer for yourself. Ah, uh, we'll be back, y'all. We got to get to these cars. I just had to get Cheerios in here, y'all. <laughs> we are working diligently on these cars. We having a great conversation. And that's something that we wanted to share with you all. And this is one way you have to end racism. You have to get along. You have to interact. You may have to work on cars like him and I are doing right now, you know? You know, or if you're a female and, and a male, well, you may have an interracial baby. And I think the next time we get together, we should talk about police violence. We will, you all. You hear him? It's the M-O-S-H-O-W Chicago with Cheerios here, you all. Remember, this is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. And if you haven't done so already, press the subscribe button below, view the videos, and press the notification button so you can get all the new videos that I upload. Thanks for being on the show, that Cheerios. Yeehaw. We'll be back, y'all. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>